Philly County Sheriff's Office warning people to look out for an unmarked school bus with a Colorado license plate. So far, they don't suspect the owner of doing anything wrong, but Pepper Baker tells us how they're working to get some answers. I've got two boys, 9 and 10, Cole and Caleb, um, and Cole has autism, so just the fact with that right there is even more scary. Mary Howard is the general manager of the 57 Diner in Unadilla, right down the street from where people saw an unmarked bus driving around. It just looks like a regular school bus, but there's no, um, the local schools around here is like Dooley County and Fullington and Pulaski County. There's no markings of which county it belongs to. People sent these pictures into the Dooley County Sheriff's Office. Investigator Randy Lamberth says they checked the license plate from Colorado. We've identified the owner is listed living in another state and not in Colorado. So uh, it's not in Georgia. Investigator Lambert says people living in this area saw the school bus driving along Bogan and Cherry Street here in Unadilla. A couple of kids were thinking it was their bus to ride to school that morning, was in the area and appeared to be stopping. Uh, the kids actually went toward the bus and realized it was not their bus and turned around and went back. They've wondered whether it's owned by a company. Lambert says there are laws about converting school buses. In the state, people that bought buses uh, for their private use had to change the color of them. They could no longer keep them as a yellow bus because that's what they represented was a school bus. He says for now they have no reason to believe there's any criminal activity going on. They're just looking to answer parents' questions. Well, best believe if I see that school bus, I'm calling somebody. We are going to get them called. I can't deal with the thought of a child being in danger like that. In Dooley County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Dooley County School District is aware of the bus. Superintendent Craig Lockhart sent out a statement thanking law enforcement for their attempts to find the owners. They asked families to talk with their children and tell them not to get on an unfamiliar bus with an unfamiliar driver.